So we have three pieces here, one 24 inch and then two 12 inch pieces. One of my 12 inch pieces is just so that I can pull a little strand out from the inner core. And I'm gonna use this to help thread the paracord through the Lego head. Okay, here we go, let's stack these two up. I'm gonna poke it through. Now I have a little loop here. I'm gonna take my 24 inch piece. I'm gonna thread that, that through the loop. Make sure it's in half. There we go. And I'm just gonna pull everything through. Just like that. This is what's gonna make up the main body of our little Lego buddy. And what I'm gonna do is take this strand that's pointing towards me I'm gonna reach from behind, grab this strand, and I'm just gonna point it back towards me so that it looks like that. I'm gonna do the same thing with this strand, but the mirror image. So this one is gonna go this way and point away, okay? And so this strand is on the bottom, this strand is on the top. Now I'm just gonna poke them through the opposite loops Here we go, and I'm gonna tighten it down. Now when I do this, let me move this head over so you can see. When I do this, you'll see that these strands, one wants to poke that way, the other one wants to poke towards me, right? I wanna make sure that I follow that same pattern as I continue to tie the same knot, okay? So I'm gonna tie two more. This one's pointing towards me, this one's pointing away from me. I'm just gonna go around, reaching from behind, and then lay it on top. This one's gonna go the mirror image on the backside. So if you can see how that looks. Now I'm gonna poke this strand through here, poke this strand through here, pull everything tight. And the way I like to pull these tight is just by pulling them towards me as I push the knot away. There you go, you can start to see the body form. Okay. Now I'm going to tie the arms on. That's where our other piece of paracord comes in. So I'm just gonna tie an overhand knot, just like that. And I'm gonna fit it underneath the helmet. Now you wanna make sure that the overhand knot is going the same direction as the other knots that you tied. If you put it on there and it looks upside down, just unfold it and fold it the opposite way. There we go, let's pull that tight. All right, now that we have our two body knots and our one shoulder knot, if you wanna call it that, I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna tie the arms and the feet. The reason I'm laying this down is because I want it to look symmetrical. And so I'm going to take this knot here, I'm going to twist it inwards and roll it in like that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Now that you see how that's laying, I'm just going to tie a little knot over here on this side, simple overhand knot. Tie an overhand knot on this side. There you go. We'll adjust those later. Same thing for the feet. Twist it upwards like that. Twist it upwards. Now we have it symmetrical on the bottom. And then we'll just poke this through here. Poke this through on this side, simple overhand knot. Okay, we're getting close. So for the arms, I like them to rest where the hip would be when I put it down. So I'm just gonna inch this one upwards just a little bit. There we go. Move it back and forth so we can settle it in place. So I like the arms to sit right around the waist and so I'm just gonna adjust the knot up and down until I get it where I want it to be. That's good. 
I'm going to do the same thing for the other side so that it matches. You can see that this arm here, the right arm, is a little longer, so let's move that along. All right, the feet, I'm just going to guess on where they need to be. That looks about right. Now I'm going to trim this down to size. I'm just going to cut about an eighth of an inch past the knot, and then I'm going to melt it with my torch here. Now you want to trim these ends one at a time. If you were to cut everything first and then melt them, as you move this around, they're going to start to fray, and it won't look as clean when you're done. This torch is on its propane, so you can't really see it, but I'm just going to hold it to the end. There we go. Now one other tip, as you're melting these, before you move on to the next limb, make sure that you let it solidify, otherwise that molten paracord can burn you. All right, we're all trimmed up. You can see this foot is pointing out to the right. This one is kind of pointing down to the right. I'm gonna adjust this so that it's pointing the same way. I'm just gonna loosen the knot and then twist the plating within the knot so that it adjusts and points away. There we go. All right, there you have it. Now you don't have to have a Lego head in order to do this. You can actually make this completely out of knots. Let me show you how that's done. So here's what it looks like if you use a Chinese button knot. Let me show you how that's done. So this is the same as a lanyard knot that you've seen me do before. I'm just gonna fold my piece of cord in half. I'm going to take my two fingers and place them through. Now I'm gonna point this one towards me, this one away from me. I'm gonna take this one, twist it towards me, and place it on top of this end right here. I'm going to take my finger and poke this out so that I have a little window poking up. I'm going to reach from behind, grab this strand, and poke it through. Now when I settle this all down, I should have a nice symmetrical looking knot. There you go, just like that. Now I have this in the back here, and I call these two sides my posts. I'm going to take this one that's pointing towards me, continue the same wrap that it's going. You see how it's making a loop and it's going this way? I'm going to continue that direction. I'm going to go around this back of the post and poke it through this diamond here in the center. You want to make sure that this floppy end stays on the correct side. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing again. Take my end, continue that curve, go around the post in the back and poke it through, ensuring that it stays on the right side. I don't want it to flop on that side and tighten it up, so stay on the correct side. Pull it tight. Now when I pull everything tight, it falls into the lanyard knot. This little piece didn't want to go, so let's just adjust that. Okay. Now, the difference between this lanyard knot and the Chinese button knot is I'm going to take this end here and I'm going to pull it down to the top. So watch this. I don't have it fully tightened. But what I'm going to do is take this piece and I'm going to take the slack out.
There we go. I don't want to pull it all the way through. I just want that sitting right on top. And now I'm just going to feed it the rest of the way until I get to one of my ends here that I pull through. There we go. And then I'll pull it tight. Now we have a nice little button that works for a head. And you can see what it looks like when it's attached. Alright folks, thanks for watching.